Hello everybody, today I am going to read the Bible story. The Bible title is chapter 11. The king said no. Let my people go, said Moses. We want to leave Egypt to worship God. Please let my people go now. This is orange juice. No, said the parrot. God said, you must let us go, said Moses again. I don't care what your God says, said the starboard of Paro. They're like just fighting in this picture. Paro, Paro, Paro made the Israel work harder. The people of Israel couldn't have enough time to eat. God told Moses that to do. Power will be mean to you and the people, but don't worry. They will soon know that I am the Lord of Israel. Moses said, let my people go many times, but the king didn't listen to God. No, said the king, your people have to work for me. Troubled things began to happen in Egypt. The longest river in Egypt was changed to blood. Frogs were everywhere in Egypt. Dust became garnest and lice. Fields came all over. After my trouble, nine trouble this turn, one last trouble dream happened. The firstborn baby. Firstborn son in Egypt, each Egypt family, including the Pharaoh's son, died. Morning, he was he was heard everywhere in Egypt. At last, Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron. Go, said the king, take your people out of the Egypt. The king was not stubborn more anymore. God showed that he is greater than the king. I think the power will be very sad. Twelfth chapter. The Israel came out from Egypt. God's people came out of the Egypt. The Israel were out of Egypt with God's help. God let Moses let the Israel they knew God was with them. God stayed with them in the clouds.
God was always with him. God showed them where to go. God showed a pillar of fire every night. After the people of Israel let Paro changes his mind, he followed the Israel with the, his soldier. The Red Sea was in front of the Israel. They couldn't cross the sea. They couldn't return to Egypt. Paro and his army were following them. They were going to kill God's people. Moses say, don't be afraid. God will save us. God say to Moses, raise your staff over the sea. The pillar of cloud stayed between the Israel and Paro army. When Moses raised the staff, there came the part of the other side of the sea. In Israel followed the part on across the Red Sea. Per and his army were following them. When the Israel crossed the sea, Moses raised the staff over the sea again. The sea swept Pharaoh's army away. God was with the Israel. God's people were, uh, were free. They were not slaves anymore. Moses and the Israel sang and danced it joyfully. They praised God. Thirteen chapter Fruit from Heaven I am thirsty, said a little girl. I am too, said the father. We don't have water. We are not the slave of Egypt, but we don't have water. The Israel traveled the desert for many days. They were thirsty to they complain to Moses. The Israel kept on going. Water, water, they shouted with joy. There is water. The people went to the water but they got angry. They found the water that murmured yeah, but the water was too bitter to drink. God said to Moses, throw a piece of food into the water. I think when I am so thirsty and I found the river that it is very clean, that I will drink that water, but it is salty. I think I will be angry too. <laughs> yes, Lord, Moses did that what God said. Goes that the water became sweet. People were amazed with God and drank the water happily. I am hungry, said the little boy. Moses will be very, you know, very. Tired because the people is keep coming. I am thirsty. I am hungry. This river, you know, this river water is salty. <laughs> we are hungry too, but there is nothing to eat," said the mother. The Israel began to complain to Moses again. We are. Driving to death, Moses prayed to God again. Moses said, 
go where God will give you food. God sent down food like dew from heaven even morning. People collect the food manana. They didn't know what it was, but it was look like cookies with honey. God feed and clothe the Israel every day. God's 14th chapter, God's rule. People were talking to each other. What is this sound? It's the sound of thunder. It's the lightning. God's people came to Mount Senania. Senania. The Israelites were afraid. Then they heard the thunder, but Moses was with them. God helped Moses let the people go people to Mount Senania. I think they will be very afraid because there is thunder. God told Moses to come up to the mountain. Moses wanted to hear what God was going to say. Moses asked his brother Aaron to take care of the people while he is gone to Mount God's mountain. I think he will be very tired to go up, but he has to go. God talked to Moses at the Mount Sinai. God gave Moses ten complaints. God's people have to obey the commandments. Ten complaints. God is the only true God. Never make idols and worship them. That means never make something like with gold gold cow and worship that. Don't do that. Never make make their children Lord name. Rest on the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Honor your father and mother. Do not Mother, husband, and wives must not com commit a their day. Do not steal. Do not tell lies. Never want that belong to another person. God promised the to. Protect the Israel if they obey God's rule. We have to obey the God's rule because God's rule will, rules never changes. Okay, I will give you one some few questions in chapter fourteen. God gave twenty com commandment commandment. Or you can say in that what when you can write in that you know subscribe me subscribe oh. when Ma Moses has gone up to the mountain Sinenia did. What did God give? You have to write the full sentence in the subscribe com comment. Oh. Yes, today I read the Bible story. It was fun. I read many stories. And please write it the answer. Then bye.